Hey everybody. Uh, so once again, uh, I was out of town. We didn't have the regular Malmaka and I did not record a story. But we never skip out on a story. So I'm going to say a little short story that has to do with Hanukkah. Here we go. There was a chassid, a very famous chassid, a chassid. His name was Rabbi Berkechein. And he was in the Soviet prison system for uh, crimes like uh, religion, practicing religion, and spreading religion. So, and he was he was known to be very careful to do all the mitzvahs, to do every commandment that he could. And he realized that in prison there was no way he can get a hold of a manure. He didn't have anything to hold oil. He didn't have oil. He didn't have wicks. He didn't have matches. He didn't have anything right to. to any of the materials he needed. He was in prison. Now he was on good terms with pretty much all the inmates. They all respected him and he was really really bothered by this and someone else, one of the inmates was able to tell how bothered he was and he asks him what's going on. So Roberka tells him that he doesn't have what he needs to light the Manera. He, you know, he has this holiday coming up, Hanukkah, and he lights the Manera and he can't do it. So this guy asks him right away, what do you need? And he tells him, I need something to hold. I need a Manera, or something to hold the, the, the oil, oil, and uh, a wick matches. This guy says, no problem. And over the next few days, this is a few days before Hanukkah, over the next few days, this guy started, you know, collecting stuff. And he says like this, okay, so we're gonna have an onion he saved from, he was able to, you know, sneak away from from the food rations. Half an onion, chop it in half, it could hold the oil. And he took butter that, again, saved from rations. And he said, okay, now you've got uh, butter instead of oil, so right, it's still gonna burn. And then he tells him, you know, he, he ripped off some, some cloth from their uh, prison uniforms and he said here's a wick and then Rebecca said okay this is great but how are we gonna have we don't have matches and, you know it's, it's really really dangerous I mean it's really not good for prisoners to be caught with matches um, so he right away tears another you know piece of uniform and he starts to take this a shoe and he, he basically put it on the on the stone floor and just started rubbing as fast and his and his uh, aggressively as he can against the floor uh, with this piece of fabric caught in the middle and he did it until it started to glow and until he was able to light the other wick and Rebecca says this was his personal Hanukkah miracle we should never have to go through those things we should see Mashiach soon and we should see miracles in our lives and the ultimate miracle of Mashiach coming I hope you enjoy that Hanukkah story please like and subscribe it really helps and consider uh, becoming a patron on Patreon that really, really allows me to continue this work, to continue these things. So if you like my story, if you like the Parashat the Barber, and if you would like the future stuff that are coming, big things are coming, God willing, please do so. Please go check it out. The link is in the description. Uh, and love you guys. Thank you. Wishing you all a beautiful Hanukkah full of light and full of miracles. And uh, I got something coming, it's a personal little, not, I mean, everything's a miracle, so it's, for me it's a mini miracle that happened to me. Stay tuned, and love you guys. Mwah.